Hello and welcome to VR Reviews. I'm going to be doing something a bit different today. Uh, I decided I wanted to peruse through my old Yu-Gi-Oh cards, as I do have quite a lot of those. And uh, I thought I that that might make an interesting video, maybe, for anybody that's uh, interested in Yu-Gi-Oh or that was. I haven't gotten Yu-Gi-Oh cards for a long time, so a lot of these are going to be real old. But we're going to start with this, which is my little book that has all my foils or holographic cards or whatever you want to call them in it. I believe they're in some kind of order. I don't know. Um, this is uh, the the Metal Raiders Summon Skull. Beast of Tall War. Mystical Elf. Uh, Magnet Warrior. Uh, there's a Serpent Knight Dragon, which was uh, the first secret rare I ever got out of a pack. Also, possibly the only one. Um, there's another Magnet Warrior. The so starter deck blue eyes. Uh, some lost dragons. That's a legend of blue eyes, red eyes, black dragon. It's not one of the starter deck ones. Uh, Karibo. Some effect cards in here. That's Guy of the Swift Knight. It's a man eater bug. There's uh, the movie card blue eyes, shining dragon. Here's a really bent up berserk dragon. I think I just found that somewhere actually. I certainly didn't do that to it. I tried to keep uh, my cards in pretty good condition. Um, there's Black Tyranno, which is one of my favorite cards that I never really used for anything, but I always thought he was cool. I had a first edition one of these a long time ago, but someone stole it, so I had to get another one. But, yeah, he's cool. Legendary Fisherman, Orca Mega Fortress of Darkness. Um, here's one of those, um, I don't remember what these are called, but they're like fancy... Uh, foil cards. These were just starting to come out around the time I stopped getting things, I think. Because that's like one of the only ones I've got. Some other stuff. It's a catapult turtle. Uh, here's some more of the movie thingies. Uh, the Sphinx stuff. It's a barrel dragon. Uh, here's another one of those weird uh, sort of foil ones. There's uh, one of the horse of the black flame dragons. I had the, the biggest one of these. Um, I don't know what level that would be. Eight, maybe. Uh, that was like the first foil I ever got out of this set. This is also one of the last sets I ended up picking up. But, uh, I don't think I've got that anymore. Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. Here's, uh, that, the big Sphinx thing. The Lava Golem. I remember getting that out of a pack one time, too. This is not the pack version, though. I think this is, a, a special edition one. But I remember getting that out of a pack as well. Here's the fusion section. Thousand Dragon. There's the uh, the Metal Raiders version, too. There's a Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. This is the first foil card I ever pulled out of a pack. He's not good for anything, really, at all. If you've played Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories, though, you're probably very familiar with that card, because he's one of the easiest fusions to do. Some other less interesting-looking fusion stuff. Here's some Ritual cards. Uh, Relinquished Paladin of White Dragon. Black Luster Soldier. Um, and here we've got magic cards. Salamandra. Giant True Nade. Scapegoat. Just Toon World. Not see anything too interesting. This is the uh, the actual set change of heart. Um, Monster Reincarnation. Swords of Revealing Light. Lots of cool stuff. And here we've got some trap cards. Rope of Life. That's another one. That's one of those uh, little goat head girl things. I think there's lots of cards with characters like that on them. Uh, here's another one of those weird cards. It's actually really cool artwork on that one. Amazonas Archers. Null and Void. Mirror Wall. Ririku Field. That looks like a Super Dragon Ball Z-esque sort of thing. Acid Trap Hole. Dust Tornado, Negate Attack, Spell Binding Circle. A lot of these traps are good. Ring of Destruction, Trap Jammer. And that ends that little section of foil things. Let's go look at some more stuff. Then I have this little folder bindery thing, and this has all my Dark Magician cards in it. Uh, this is uh, the sort of, I think this was from a 10, and then these two are Legend of Blue Eyes versions. And then I've got Starter Deck versions here on the back. These are all starter decks. Um, and then, is that, yeah. Um, I don't remember what this comes from. 
and then I've got a Japanese one of those. This is another 10 version of That Dark Magician. And then these are all starter deck versions of That Dark Magician. Which I have several of as well. It's Buster Blader, who's in here for a Dark Paladin, obviously. Um, let's see what else we've got. These are hard to turn. These pages are also very, like, they're very milky, so it's hard to see things. Got uh, two different Dark Sages, Dark Magician Girl. Got two Dark Magicians of Chaos. It's unfortunate that I only have one Dark Magician Girl. I know I used to have more of them, but I do not seem to have any other ones other than this one. Uh, there's Mirage Knight. I've got some skilled Dark Magicians in here. Blast Magician. Uh, Chaos Command Magician. I basically have cards in here that sort of fit that Dark Magician aesthetic with the big pointy hats and stuff too. As well as things that are directly related to the Dark Magician. There's Apprentice Magician and some more Blast Magicians. Sorcerer of Dark Magic, which I've got like 10 of in here. As you can see, there's lots of those. Sorcerer's of Dark Magic. I've got a, a Japanese ma uh, Dark Magician of Chaos. I think that's fake. I'm pretty sure of it. Um, and then I've got two Japanese Dark Magician Girls. I'm not sure about those. They might be real. I'm not positive. I've got a Japanese Thousand Knives. And I've got some of these little magic cards that are related to Dark Magician. And uh, other things like that. And I've got Fusions, uh, Dark Paladin, and Dark Flare Knight. Spell Vanishing, which has a Breaker the Magical Warrior on it, I think. Is that what his name is? And then I've got Flame Swordsman here on the back. And then I've got some other random stuff in here, which are just little cards that I happen to have laying around. So, yeah, those are those things. Um, let's move on to my big binder that has all my rares and commons in it. So here's all my rares and commons. This thing is absolutely full, so I doubt I'm going to go into too much detail with it. But I'll flip through it real quick. Basically, the first section has rares in it, and then past that, there'll be commons... Um, there's probably some cool stuff in here. There's Great Moth. Here's that thing that I have the special foil version of. Um, there's Mooka Mooka. There's just going to be way too much stuff in here for me to even begin to try to go through in any detail. Um, here's some uh, Ritual and Fusion cards. We get into Rare Spells. And there's just, there's a lot of stuff in here, honestly. And there's just not much detail I can go into. There's one of the spirit messages. I don't think I ever had all of those. Uh, there's a rare metal morph. Light force sword. There's just a lot of stuff in here. Trap hole. Uh, here's some Japanese cards that I have in here. I don't know if all of these are legit or not. I was never... I just sort of ended up with some of them sometimes. Uh, there's like Shadow Ghoul and uh, Dark Rabbit and stuff. And then we start comments here. There is stuff on the backs of these pages too, but I, the way it's positioned right now, I can't fit everything on screen, so I'm only really able to show you sort of half of everything. There's the common uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon. I always like the car art on that one better than the original one. Uh, just some basic stuff. There's Sword Stalker. Lajin, Mystical Genie of Lent, my first favorite card. Until I became infatuated with the Dark Magician. Opticlops. There's a common Heos and Ryu. There's multiples of a lot of these inside these sleeves, too. Judge Man. One of those, uh, Stone Ogre Grotto things. There's Gaia, Swordsman of Landstar. Urabi, another dinosaur. I like dinosaur cards, although I never seem to really uh, see any that were all that good for anything, at least back in the day. Silver Fang, Armored Lizard, Celtic Guardian. There's a Metal Armored Bug. I feel like I used that in some sort of bug deck at some point. There's Twin Headed King Rex. Skull Dog Marin. Baby Dwagon. Harpy Lady. 
I think these, no, I was going to say these might be in alphabetical order. I think I did have them in alphabetical order at some point, but I just got too lazy once I had so many. Uh, Blazing and Pachi, Flame Cerberus, Ryu Ran, Flame Kraken. Um, oh, I see, I've got them organized by, uh, by type. These are all the fire stuff, and here's starting some water stuff. Here's all the Giga Gig Gigo cards. Always thought those were kind of cool. Flying Penguin. Space Mambo. And uh, there's a Hitatsumi Giant. And uh, then we get into effect cards here. Mystic Tomato. There's a Red Eyes Black Chick. Uh, there's that Twin Headed Doggy thing that I had the, uh, the Japanese version of. Witch of the Black Forest. Karibo. There's that uh, weird rappy uppy thing. What was that called? Kisuke? I just saw that in the anime because I've been watching some of the anime recently. Uh, Weevil uses that. Uh, let's see if there's anything else cool going on. There's regular Thunder Dragon, which is also not a good card. You can fuse two not good cards together to make a not good card. Pretty awesome. Electric Snake. Wadapon, I remember that being a movie card as well. Send you of the thousand hands. There's Swamp and Lava Battle Guard. Parasite, Parasite. I had the, the foil one of those too, although I didn't mention it specifically. You should have seen it if you were looking with your eyes. Sword Hunter, I remember that card being quite good. One of those kangaroo things. Got some of these camel things up here. I feel like I just saw this, which means I probably messed up and put that in here twice. Um, uh, skull Mark Ladybug. Desert Taper. There's that rescue cat. It's weird, cute helmet cat thing. It's one of those things from Dark Souls that punches you in the face and you die. Um, Griggle. Oh, there's a war. I never got a perfectly ultimate great buff. Here's all the harpy ladies. Here's some of the armored dragons. I think I did at some point have the big one of these as well. Insect soldiers of the sky. There's Mangari Red. Dragon Piper. Hey look, Foxfire. Which is different than Firefox. But not substantially. Uh, that thing looks cool. <laughs> I don't see anything I specifically recognize, though. Other than just vaguely. Um, hey, there's that stupid hat penguin that was in one of the filler arcs of the anime. Um, and here we've got some fusions and some rituals. St. Joan. Pretty much all these fusions are probably terrible. Um, we've got trap cards. I wonder why I did trap cards before magic cards. Um, don't see anything too familiar there. Um, Castle Walls, that's a starter deck card. Call of the Haunted. Dragon Capture Jar. Enchanted Javelin. Gravity Bind. Grave Digger. I had the, uh, the foil version of that too, I believe. There's House of Adhesive Tape, which I always thought was a strange idea for a card. It's Mask of Restrict. Pyramid of Light. That was one of the movie things. Uh, Shadow of Eyes. That was a card that I used. Trap Hole again. Probably a lot of trap holes. Did I have a foil trap hole too? Trap hole might not have ever been foil, but I had the rare one in this common, which I think is the Star Trek one. Um, then that switches over to magic cards. Uh, a wing beat of a giant dragon. I remember uh, Wraith, if you watch some of my other videos, you'd know who that is, uh, using that in his dragon decks. Uh, Call of the Mummy. Cold Wave. 
the right one. Um, Dark Hole. It's a D spell. Don Quito, the Cure Master. I think this is one of those uh, fancy weapon things. There's Gravity Axe Rarl, Horn of Light. It's like the defense version of Horn of the Unicorn, except I think it's a little bit better. Lightning Blade. These are at an angle that I can't read them, which is why I'm not being too specific about what they do, because I don't remember all of them that well. Um, there's Lightning Blade. Did I just say that? I feel like I just said that. Lightning Blade! That's the Chidore. Um, Monster Recovery. Malevolent Nuzzler. Uh, paralyzing Potion. There's Polymerization. That's an important thing. Ring of Magnetism. Snatch Steel. There's a common sword I really like. Getting close to the back, there's a few more pages here. Uh, Sinri Eye, I don't know what that is. Um, there's a common flute of summoning dragon. There's a tribute to the doomed. And then I've got Yami and some stuff on this last page, and then the back is just like random cards from other things. I guess I'll, uh, I'll flip back through and let you look at the backs of all these, because... Skipping half the collection seems a bit silly, so let's try to do that. Okay, starting back in magic cards. Uh, there's Yumi, of Stark Goblin. Sparks. Sword and Shield. Um, Soul Exchange, the common version of that. Um, remove Trap. Some more, uh... Field cards, Mountain, Ukazi, Pot of Greed, there's Megamorph, I don't think I have the foil version of that anymore, I didn't see it, um, Monster Reborn, a lot of these cards are good, Mystical Space Typhoon, Hinotama, Inferno Tempest, I had a, a really weird and terrible one turn kill strategy that I used with this that never worked, um, Heavy Storm, Fairy Meteor Crush, there's Final Countdown, that's one of those game winner cards, uh, Dragon Treasure, Emblem of the Dragon Destroyer, Card of Safe Return, that's a common version of that, uh, common version of Change of Heart, Curse of the Masked Beast Ritual, did I have the Masked Beast? I don't remember seeing it. The Book of Secret Arts, Black Illusion Ritual. Speaking of not seeing things, I don't remember if I saw A Thousand Eyes Restrict. I did have Relinquish. And we're back in the traps. Wabaku. There's the Common Spell Binding Circle. The Self Destruct Button. There's the Rear Yoku Field thing. Robin Goblin. Uh, Magic Jam, Just Desserts, Jar of Greed, Jam Defender. I don't think I have a uh, Revival Jam though, although I do, I do remember having it at some point. Uh, Fairy Box, there's a Dust Tornado Common, a uh, Backup Soldier. And we're back into fusions again. Rabbit Horseman and uh, Flame Swordsman and stuff. And then we're back into effect cards. Deep Sea Warrior. Weather Report. There's the Little Swordsman of A. The Thing in the Crater. Jin Bakudan. There's the ultimate uh, obedient fiend, which is like a really strong card with some sort of negative effect. I don't remember exactly. Sasuke Samurai number two. I believe there are a couple of different ones of those. Four star ladybug of doom. 
uh, Dark Zebra, Blade Rabbit. I'm basically just naming things that I find familiar for some reason or other. Giant Axe Mummy, Steel Scorpion. Here's Gear Free, the Iron Knight. Uh, nothing else. There's some good stuff. Man Eater Bug. Nobleman Man Eater Bug. Or Noble Man Eater Bug. Nobleman Eater Bug. Apparently, I can't pronounce that. Yeah, these are some of the, the special versions of things. So I've got Man Eater Bug and Nobleman Eater Bug. Hain Hain and Hade Hain. And uh, Mooka Mooka. And Enraged Mooka Mooka. There's White Magician Pariku. There's Sangan of the Thunder. I don't have the foil version of that, apparently. Time Wizard, Mecha Dog Marin, uh, Mahabela. I remember that being pretty decent. There's Wall Shadow, old vindictive magician. I remember putting that in my spellcaster deck. It's like Man Eater Bug, except it's better because it's a magician. Pum King, King of Ghosts, Ancient Lamp, or Mystic Lamp, Mystic Lamp, yeah. There's the Reap of the Cards and the Castle of Dark Illusions. Uh, let's see. Vampire Lord. Despair from the Dark. I always thought that was a cool looking card. Patrician of Darkness. And here we are into uh, basic monsters. Aquamatador. Um, yeah, that was the wrong last page. Um... Seven Colored Fish, Mr. Volcano, Yama Dragon, Launcher Spider, Harpy Girl, Empress Mantis, Prevent Rat, Lesser Dragon, Girochin Kugawata, or however you pronounce that, Big Koala. Master Kionshi. There's Petite Moth. Labyrinth Wall. It's a good one. Kind of. Vaguely. Basic Insect. Spirit of the Harp. There's Moki Moki. I have the super ultra mega fusion Moki Moki thing in here somewhere. King Fog. Metal Kid the Four Faced Beast. Here's all those uh, Ojama things that also have a big fusion. There's the common version of Summon Skull. Illusionist Faceless Mage, just one of Pegasus's cards. Ushioni, that's cool. That's another like a genie-esque card, except it's also a Minotaur, so that makes it even better. And then here's the back of my Japanese cards also. I have the, uh, the Crush card powers. And uh, I have Truth, I think. And then we get to the back of the rares. Uh... Trying with traps. Got a rare rope of life there. Horn of the Unicorn. Infinite cards. Uh, Gravedigger Ghoul. There's another spirit message card. Sword and Shield. Limit Breaker. There's a mask. Mask of Brutality. Back of the Fusions. Metal Dragon. Flower Wolf. And the back of the effects. Pyramid Turtle. Here's the rare mango re Uh, is that another Sasuke Samurai? Yeah. White Magical Hat. Magician of Faith. There's the Death's Feral Imp. Shadow Ghoul. Morphing Jar number two. And that's it. That's back to the front. So that is everything. Just let those fall, I guess. All right. So, that is my entire Yu Gi Oh! collection, I do believe. That's quite a lot of cards. I have no clue what I will ever do with them, but I n I've never wanted to get rid of them just for nostalgia purposes. I don't think they're really worth much anyway, as I feel like a lot of these things probably are not played anymore. Um, but yeah, that's all for that. This is probably a long video, but until next time, goodbye, hands. Hello! You've just watched one of my videos. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed my videos. If you didn't, run away. Run away and never return. 
Also, feel free to check out my other channels, Venom Raptor, for all my variety gaming content, and VR reviews, for reviews of various action figures and collectibles. Thank you, and goodbye.